join me here up front. Uh, for those of you who are guests with us, what we do is we have a child put something in the box. I don't know what it is, and then I try to come up with some sort of lesson uh, from what I see in the box. And so we will see what Junia has brought us this morning. I think, is this a bone? Is there a note here? Oh, there is an explanation for this sermon in a box. This is a pig bone. So what we have this morning is a pig bone, which I think is a new sermon in the box. We've done sermon in the box for a long time, and I don't think we've ever had a pig bone. So this is fun. I get to do something new this morning. Thank you, Junia. That is a great sermon in the box. Let's see. What can we do with that? Are there pig bones in the Bible? There are pigs in the Bible, that's for sure. I can't remember if there are any specific pig bones in the Bible. But you know what this reminds me of this morning? It reminds me of something that we say every, almost every Sunday, or about every other Sunday. Every other Sunday, we confess what we call the Apostles' Creed. And in the Apostles' Creed, we say that we believe in the resurrection of the dead. And do you know what that means? That means that one day, hey, we can chat later, okay? Uh, it means that one day that Jesus will take our bones and he will raise them up and he will make us totally new. I don't know if he's going to do that with this pig bone or not. I don't have that information, but the Bible does promise us that Jesus will take our bones and he will raise them up and he will make us new. And so maybe you can be reminded of that this morning when we say that we believe in the resurrection of the dead. Thank you for that sermon in the box. It was a great one. Let's see. Talia.